Well, I made it to Alaska. It's the last frontier, is what they call it, which is quite fitting because this is my last state. So I'm really excited. It almost doesn't even feel real, I'm gonna be honest, but it's probably because my travel to get here was quite intense. I arrived at like 2 o'clock in the morning, which was like 4 a.m. back home. And, uh, oh, I guess 5 a.m. back home. And I didn't book an Airbnb because I didn't really know how I was going to get there because the city doesn't really have like public transportation after like 8 p.m. So I ended up just sleeping or attempting to sleep in the airport and I think I maybe got two hours of sleep in the airport and three hours on the plane. Um, but yeah, so I've been traveling for like 20 hours now and I can't check into my Airbnb until three o'clock. So I decided to walk down here and see what was happening on the coast. <laughs> Let's go get some biscuits. <laughs> Okay, so whenever I checked into my Airbnb yesterday, I pretty much just like slept for like 12 hours. But I wanted to show you guys what um, my room looks like real quick. So here we go. It's a really simple setup. Um, I actually only booked one room out of a five bedroom house, so I believe there are five other travelers here right now, but I've pretty much just been keeping to myself because I was so tired yesterday. Um, I was pretty much running for like 36 hours nonstop, so I didn't really want to be social, but um, I actually just got my car dropped off, so I'm gonna go explore a little bit. <laughs> I don't think that this would be real life if I didn't show you guys all aspects of my travels. I'm literally, I'm sitting in the McDonald's parking lot because I just picked up coffee and I'm crying because of my view. Hold on, look. Like how is that even real life? I'm at McDonald's right now, and the mountains look way bigger in real life. They are literally taking up like half of the sky. I'm obsessed. <laughs> So I picked up my car and decided to drive out to Beluga Point, um, which is right behind me. I get here and it says no trespassing because there's train tracks, but everybody else is doing it, so I think I'm gonna go ahead. Totally not the only one. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have waterfalls on one side of me and mountains on the other. checked out of my Airbnb which means it's my last day in Anchorage which is bittersweet but I'm really excited to head north um so yeah I think the first step is coffee because there wasn't really any coffee in my Airbnb and then I'm gonna go buy a new pair of shoes because I only brought my hiking boots and sandals and it's not enough um but everyone say bye Airbnb bye So I got my shoes and then I decided to come to the um, earthquake park. Uh, this is my view right now. I've seen a lot of moose here so it's a little nerve wracking to like go walking on the trails and stuff but there are tons of people around so I'm sure it's okay. But yeah, I've never really seen moose like that close before. just drove out of Anchorage which means that this is gonna be the end of this video um, but I wanted to show you guys one last stop that I have on my way out this is Mirror Lake and it's just kind of right off the highway um, so I'm just gonna end it with that I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more Alaskan adventures because there's going to be a lot of them uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, comment anything that you might want to see or any questions that you guys have I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you guys for being here.